Welcome back to another part of Daymare 1994 Sandcastle. Anyway, let's play. And we are back into it, baby. The Elevator of Doom. Apparently, I wasn't that unprepared after all. Radek, hold on. It's almost over. Radek? Why are you telling Radek it's almost over? What the heck is this? Got me some extra ammo. Vulcan, I made it outside, but I can't work out where I am. It's impossible to see anything in this storm. You're telling me? And it's getting worse. I can just about make out some pylons. If you give me a few minutes, I'll try to locate an extraction point. Okay, but hurry up. I can't keep this beast in the air for much longer. Any news from Foster? Negative. I need to find him. I know. But first, let's take care of the briefcase. As soon as it's safe, we'll take care of him, too. Okay. I'll try to work out where I am. Find an extraction point. So we have two directions to go, either right or left. So we're gonna go right first because I think we kind of need a key here or something. A password maybe. No electricity. And that will class or clarify that this is the right way to go. Power facility. of a helipad. Only for you. I can't see jack shit from up here. Okay. This is the plan. As soon as I reach the helipad, I'll try to signal the landing area to you. There must be flares on that tower. At least, I hope so. Copy. Proceed. Over and out. Well, we're gonna do our best. We won't go up there just yet. There might be some more stuff for us to do. Well, kid, that didn't take long. This base used to be the pride of the United States Air Force. Now it's just a gaggle of goggle-eyed geeks in short-sleeved shirts, tapping away on those diabolic electric uh, electronic calculating machines. Uh, there aren't many of us left, practical folk. Folk who know how to patch up a, a shuttle with a, a with a spit and a wad of gum. Here's some advice for an old timer. If an internal combustion engine stops working, top up the diesel and give it a good kick. If the electrical system shorts out, uh, go up in the control room, dust off the console and restart the system. And then give it a good kick as well, for good measure. Remember, there is no problem with a good old American boot can't solve. Just ask my wife. <laughs> She's been kicking my butt since the day we got <laughs> Okay, hopefully, hopefully, yeah. She's doing the butt kicking. I love that. Ah, uh, sure. Let's use it. I like to use it, use it. You like to... Watch me use it. Yes. Got some ammo here. A Rubik's Cube. 
Another puzzle. Huh? What are we doing? Restore to default. Electricity. So the package needs to go to the floppy disk. The gear. This one. Needs to go there. Then this one. Needs to get there. There we go. That is the door uh, I tried to enter. But there was no electricity. So now there is. And the door is open. Wouldn't have to save. I have big PP. Wait, what? What the heck? So I never went up on the other side or even tried to. This is bad. That sounded interesting. There's doggies now. No, it's not. It's a big daddy again. The boss fight we had. Okay then. I wonder why our gun is hitting so slow. We did it. Nice. Well, kid, I guess you can tell what we we can tell it like it is now. This country is literally falling apart. I've been working here since the 1950s when uh, mushroom clouds over the Nevada desert were in order of uh, or of the day. Nobody knew uh, the Reds uh, were the enemy. Um, and our presidents uh, were patriotic hawks, and we could not be proud of. Not as kicking doves, cowing to foreign governments. But for the thir uh, 30 long years, I've always made sure that everything's running smoothly up at Paradise Ranch. Of course, uh, since any transferred operations down to the underground levels, nobody cares about these old abandoned buildings of the surface. And nobody cares much about us. It's only taken them a few years to dig enough tunnels to house a whole civ uh, civ uh, a civilization of mole people down there. Complete the storage hangars, water supply, and ventil uh, ventilation systems. 
while the rest of rots away on the surface. Bait for us all those conspiracy and UFO assholes. Always gawking at us through their t uh, telescopes and binoculars. Well, one thing's for sure, kid. You can guarantee that what remains of, the, uh, of this godforsaken place is going to be in perfect working order. As long as my bulls are dangling down between my legs, though I don't know how much longer that will be the case, given how many rays I've soaked up in the nuclear test over these years. We found a gas tank. I just don't know where to put it, though. Why do we need gas? You know what would make this game a little bit easier? A freaking minimap, dude. Or at least a map, right? Because, like, we just picked up a gas can, and I don't know what the heck. Like, why do we even have one? At least it's leading us here. Okay, so this uh, big enemy is running as fast as we are, for some reason. I, I don't know what that's about. I assume we gotta go this way, though. We have two ammo extra. Okay. Did that worked, I guess. Okay, we got gas now, so this is where the gas had to go. Well, something is turned on. No idea what it might be, but... I guess we'll find it. 
Let's have a little runnerunski. I guess it's not here. There would have been like a cutscene or enemies, anything to prove that we are going the right direction. None of this happened. Here we go. Elevator most probably. Yeah, we're running uh, decently low on ammo, to be honest. Hopefully we'll find some soon. More, more. Feels like we're running around in the mines now. That got me real good, dude. We're doing Gucci, I think. We're fine. Okay, we got an upgrade here. A medkit. Speaking of, I feel like we should use one. Yeah, our inventory is also almost like completely full. We got another upgrade here. What do we do? Range? Oh. Range increase. Tank capacity increase. Frost mine. New technological... No, dude. Frost shield. A technology that in increasingly uh, generates a temporary ice barrier around the user. Capable of withstanding high velocity projectiles. Um, an improved fiber. That makes it lighter and sturdier. I'm going to take the frost shield. Do you see a shield around me? Or do you just see my thing fart above it? I don't even know what to say. Like, if this is a shield, then I don't know what it is. I don't know what a shield is then. Got some machine gun ammo. You know, this part makes me think of, like, Metro Exodus, right? Goodness. The way the looting is, the way the uh, bodies is placed. is what I'm talking about. We need more ammo though. Yeah, I think we should be close to like the dine zone. I'm doing my best, but that fucking helipad isn't easy to get to. Damn. 
We can do this. Have another save point here. It's, might be worth. Ooh, is that a gun? It's a gun to look at. Not a gun to play with. Unfortunately, that's the thing. Right? Don't be bad. Another bomb by us, it does. Another bomb by us, it does. And another bomb by us. Another bomb by us, it does. We just need ammo to eat it, that's for sure. Running pretty low on them ammo. Which is not good, yo. Okay, I guess we'll be going up still. Yes. Foster! Reyes! You're alive! Mender! Are you alright? Uh, things got pretty bad. I thought I'd seen everything, but I still managed to surprise me. <laughs> what the hell is that thing? This? It's a long story. Vulcan's coming for the extraction. I recovered... this. You managed to get hold of it? Don't act so surprised. On the contrary, that's why you're here. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Well done. The storm is getting worse. Can you walk? Sir! You were in Iraq, weren't you, Reyes? Yes, sir. So... You know that sometimes it's necessary to burn an oil well in order to avoid... it falling into enemy hands. I've known Gora since 83. He was a hot-headed kid. He had already made a name for himself through his dedication, his initiative. But people like us, Reyes, we understand that whoever looks to war as a solution ends up being consumed by it. Was he the one that wounded you? Yeah. I tried to stop, but <laughs> that kid has what it takes. He's always had it. Listen, Gora has no intention of reporting to the president. He only believes in himself now. If the research ends up in his hands, God only knows who will get hold of it. With all due respect, sir, to hell with Gora. Let's get that out of here as soon as possible. This is far from over. I have other orders. Do you know where this comes from? Down there is one of the most advanced experimentation centers on the planet. They call it the castle. It stretches miles underground. Operation Sandcastle was launched to stop Section 8 finding it. But I failed. Why didn't you tell us anything? Do you have any idea how important this is? We're talking about 
The most dangerous technology on the face of the Earth! I had my suspicions. Reyes, think. Look around you. That data can't be allowed to leave here. We have to reach the depths of the laboratory before Gora does, and destroy it forever. Those are my orders. But maybe we can... That server must be destroyed, Reyes, or the whole world will burn. You have to understand, the Department of Defense can't trust anyone with this, not even Hades. Earlier, I found a dead Hades agent. He was wearing this. Then you know, there must be Hades operatives outside my command. It was someone I'd never seen before. There must be infiltrators. I don't know who's commanding. Where's Radic? Exactly where you left him. He's wounded. He couldn't carry on. Where I left him? <laughs> he was the one who left me. What? In the middle of the fight with Section 8. Uh, apparently, Radic also has a price. That's not possible. I know Radic. He can't have betrayed us. Uh, so where the hell did he go? That's always been your weak spot, Reyes. Presuming you know better. I locked him in, in a warehouse. I checked his position not long ago. Uh, great. I doubt he's still there. We'll have to watch out for him, too. It's just the two of us now. There's no time to waste. You'll have to complete the mission in my place. You can reach the underground facility through this ventilation shaft. I'll make sure the briefcase gets out in one piece. Then we'll go back to retrieve Radic. The Major owes us an explanation. That scientist. He was babbling about matter transfer experiments. Basically a teleporter. Do you know anything about that? What are those creatures, sir? That's just the tip of the iceberg, kid. Down there... There's so much more. And it needs to stay there. Commander, enough with the ambiguity. I'm ready to do what it takes, but I need to know what I'm heading into. Listen, I don't have the full picture. That technology originated... <laughs> Bro, I was half falling asleep. Vulcan, come in. Please, where are you? I'm still hovering. Time goes out. There's no time left. I can't land in these conditions. Vulcan, listen to me. Foster is dead. What? What the fuck are you saying? What happened? They shot him right in front of me. That's impossible. Fuck. Who was it? I don't know. Vulcan, the situation is far worse than we could have imagined. Foster gave me one last order. I have to go down. I'm so screwed. Yes, I am. Thank you. You know, this typically just shows, right, that women can't do multitask. She couldn't climb down this ladder while she was talking. She needs to talk first, and then she can climb down. Yes. Prove me wrong, bitches. She didn't even see who killed him. Enrico! Oh, uh, again, wrong game. Sorry, guys. Soon, soon we'll figure out. <laughs> of course, the passage is blocked. 
things aren't fucking easy. It's like they're doing it on purpose. Yes, game. Why are you doing this on purpose, my brie? What the heck? What the heck is this about? Let's see what happens. There's the fan. Pass it? I think we did. Might have hit me, I'm not too sure. Good still. I think this fan could have been like a centimeter shorter. Right? Goodness. Freaking way, dude. Well, we didn't get squished so far, so. Wait a minute. How would we do this? All the sides is broken. works because I'm too sexy for my shirt too sexy for my shirt too sexy oh yes <laughs> no comment dude no comment seriously so not this way what's going on Hope it's not Chris's blood. What are you? He's now a Jill sandwich. <laughs> I should really stop, dude. But I just see so much Resident Evil in this game, it's not even a joke. I don't know why. Resident Evil uh, mixed with Dead Space. Oh, 
Hi there. Finish him. You chose poorly. Is it a full heal? I think it is, right? It's like having all these first aid sprays in our inventory. Come on, dude. There has to be more ammo at places, man. Seriously. We're running pretty low on ammo. Okay. Which is not good. Feels like we might need to use the ice more often. No aliens. Hit me alien one more time. My nipple twist. What? Hey! Stop! It was a woman. That looks like... No, it's impossible. Who did it look like? Looks like it's been abandoned for years. Goodness. Might be on the other side of the wall, by the way. So it was. Damn, the blood won't stop flowing. Where did those things come from? Uh, they are arms and legs, even remains of a face. But they are certainly aren't human. We're reaping what we sowed. We sentenced the people working in the underground laboratories to death by blocking all the escape routes. And now their twisted and tor uh, tortured bodies are returning from the realm of the dead to exact their revenge. But they won't take me with them. I have one last shot. The one that will free me from this nightmare. Forever. Forever, ever. Forever, ever. Okay, I think uh, that is that section, so let's keep running. Hopefully we'll find this woman soon. Nothing in there we can grab, unfortunately. On grab the toolbox. Whoa, we now have another elevator. And it works from the get-go? My goodness. Normally I have to do like seven puzzles before you can get an elevator working. Or you need a key or electricity or... You need some fuel. None of that this time, I guess. Jeez, this place smells like shit. Why are you... Smelling it then. Breathe through your mouth, woman.
finish him. Oops, I did it again. I finished him. <laughs> Say my name, say my name. Cause I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. What are you? Yes, I am, yes, I am, yes, I am. No, but seriously, are you? Uh, yes, yes, I am. Ask this guy. The 360 no scope, baby. A gas mask, a document to read. The last pages are splattered with blood. We've been trying to fix the gas leak at the lower levels for three weeks now. But it's like looking for a needle in a haystack in the jungle of pipes and ducts. The only way to operate down without dying is to wear a gas mask, which makes Visibility even poorer, and it slowed down the team's, team's progress. Fortunately, the analyst carried out to confirm that even though it's high, uh, highly toxic gas, it, it, it isn't flammable or explosive. This gives us the leeway to find the leak and make repairs. But I can't help wondering the conditions of the poor devil's who was trapped down there. Goodness. Dude, I seriously didn't sleep very well. I gotta be honest, man. I am pretty exhausted. Which means I should play games that is, like, easier. Uh, Frost Mine. We'll take this one. I don't even know what we took there, but I'm fine with this. I'm a little lazy to read. 1BWCQ. B. Oh, man. What happens if we do this? Okay. Uh, 2VR3L. Okay. So, I don't know how we would do this, though. Yeah. TSY1K. T. S. Let's see here, where's Y? Do we even have a Y? There it is. B S Y. One. I can't do it. That one was way too hard, man. Like, what the heck? We can't do it again. So you have three tries. After that, you can't do it. It's okay. You only get stuff like a first aid spray inside of it anyway. So it's not a big deal, I think. We'll just leave that bad boy right there. You know, you win some, you lose some, right? I could have done the first one. The second one, I... I didn't really think I could do it. There's someone there. This looks like the place where, again, Resident Evil. I... I no, just don't talk about it. No. Yeah.
can't be. Come so far. Why do I? Why do I need rescuing now? Follow me, my ass. Who the hell are you? That suit. Are you with Hades? Your questions will not beget the answers you seek. But you are right. The shadow of our Lord Hades is rapidly spreading over this place. So the time has come for us, Hades, to make a choice. Look, I've had enough of your bullshit. What kind of game are you playing in this goddamn asylum? It's fucking absurd. What did you do to me in that room? Hmm. You better answer, or else. Or else what? You forget that I just saved your life. This is not the time for answers. Now follow me, and when you are ready, you will understand. It even has its own transportation system. How big is this place? Hey, you- Aptum. You can call me Aptum. What the fuck? Tell me where we're going then, Aptum. Impatience is clouding your mind. At the end of this glorious day, you will thank me. Prepare yourself for what is to come. Yeah, sure. Blood. Everywhere. Enough already. Tell me where we are. Home. I'm sick of your bullshit. Like, fuck, I'll follow you in there. What do you want from me? Do you know Roddick? <laughs> hey, are you listening to me? <sighs> you still don't understand. Don't take another step. Did you think I didn't know? You are not worthy to carry it. None of us are. Rest now. Thank you. I would love to get knocked out like that right now. I need some sleep, dude. <laughs> Wait, what? What the heck? Normally that's what sleeping pills do also. You don't sleep, you, you get knocked out. And that's why I don't use it. Where am I? Don't you recognize me? It's me. No. You're not real. We are here. Look at me. I know you hate me. Stop it. Leave me alone. That's so you. Just like when we were kids. You close yourself away and won't let me reach out to you. But I always was there for you. And I still am. That's not true. You abandoned me. That wasn't what I wanted. Everyone said you were dead. I kept looking for you, and here we are. I've been waiting for you, Reis. Don't call me that. Stop. Get away. You was 
be important if he brought you here instead of just killing you. The door's open. Come on when you're ready. Oh, thank you. How nice of you. Uh, and also a lot of candles on top of books. I mean, what could go wrong? Right? Nothing. Like, they definitely have some... Strange. He must trust you. Maybe it's because of your uniform. Huh. Did he find a new girlfriend? Shh! Be quiet! Under normal circumstances, Hades aren't welcome here. But Aptum has always helped us out, so we'll make an exception for his sake. And you might have your uses as well. Fuck you. Leave me alone. Watch your mouth. We see and hear everything. We've been locked up I will warn everything. so long. As our guest, you should show some humility. She should leave, right? Do you want to go? No, Doctor. Then be quiet. Come and join us, my dear Hades. Can we listen to this tape now? Uh, audio, inmates dialogue. This one. Finally, I can hear him. It was all so confusing, but now I hear his call. Oh, it's so clear! Oh, thank God, I stopped taking those damn pills. This is our new home, our sanctuary, and now you're needed as one. We'll finally be able to offer him the sucker he so desperately needs. What the heck? Getting quite a few stuff here, actually. Breathe. I think that is some bad advice you give there. We are the cameras following us. More breathing. in return. I've got news for you. We're short of oxygen. We need to reactivate the ventilation system before we all move on to a better life. We tried praying, but that didn't work. Oh, so much for being in total control. Touche. Anyway, you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. You'll have to get to the technical area. We tried before, but, uh, Nobody made it back. Now we've run out of volunteers. But don't worry. I'll guide you. I guess I don't have a choice. Hmm. That was easier than I anticipated. The Hades I remember were a little less... compliant. Are you sure you're alright? Do you want my help or not? The main entrance to the maintenance area is blocked. You can't get in from there. 
Go to the cells in block B to gain access to the lower levels. You'll find an alternative entrance point there, and then you'll be able to restart the ventilation system. What is she now? Locked doorway. Wait a minute, this seems like the way we came in. But it feels like we just ran forward after a cutscene. So are you still guiding me, or...? Because we haven't heard you say a word. Oh, here we go. Let me see you go, go. More breathing, dude. That big door, on the other hand, is the one I'll be opening to let you out. Maybe. <laughs> I know you're judging us. But before all this, oh, back then, everything was perfect. We at U.S. Progress have lived through incredible times. We had a dream. The Abyss Scan Program. I was responsible for one of the most innovative research projects in history. Until you people turned up. You people. You refused to do your dirty work. To sacrifice human lives. To transfer matter at any cost. So many innocent souls. So much unimaginable pain. We refused to cooperate. And they locked us up. But they paid for it. A seismic shockwave, and then those beings arrived. By the way, have you noticed those electrical devices scattered around? They're for isolating electromagnetic fields. It's the only way to keep them at bay. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Where was I? The Abyss Scam Program. Never heard of it. One thing at a time. Okay, it's pretty hard to judge which direction to run. We're in a bathroom now. A bathroom wall that's broken. Hmm, I wonder which game I've seen that in. Hmm, inventory is full. Let's heal. 11 HP, sure. Right. Yeah, I guess we gotta extinguish the fire. I don't know if you can extinguish fire that keeps moving, though. You can. Somehow. We can stop a flamethrower. Sure, that's fun to finish him. 
test your might. Good, good, God, get it. Do, 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 do. I see more fire. I think we're doing pretty good so far. Looks like we can't stop that fire for some reason. Kind of feel like we kind of have to, right? Like, I don't know how we're gonna do this. Yeah, that ain't gonna work, dude. Okay. Well, hopefully we find a door soon, I think, because I think there was only one way to run. Which I do find a little bit odd. Yeah, I don't know if we can actually access the other side also. Because there was more fire here. We can't, it seems. Okay. So that's at least now taken care of. But I have this feeling by the time I get there, the fire is going to be out again. Out and about. Right, it depends on which country you live in. Is it out and about or out in a boot? I'm just joking. It's a joke, dude. Chill. Are you doing so? You're doing well, eh? Goodness. Okay, hey guys, we're gonna actually call it here. Thank you so much for taking time out of day supporting the channel. If you want to support it a tiny tad more, please make sure to leave a like. It really does help a lot. Subscribe if you're new. I'm looking forward to see you beautiful people in the next one. Love you, take care, and as always, remember to twist some nips. Take care. Bye-bye.